Recently, someone asked me what my opinion is about the sumo arc. Well, it's a very interesting question because I have mixed feelings about this arc. First of all, I have to say that until recently, I considered Tsukune's arc to be the worst of the entire Baki series. After Jack's return and subsequent victory against Tsukune, I've started to see this arc with different eyes. But let's start talking about the bad points first. Undoubtedly the low point of this arc was the sumo tournament. If I remember correctly, I think it was more than 50 chapters of the sumo tournament. Boring. Yes, it was 50 chapters of boring fights and without any emotion, except for some moments that I will talk about later. I don't know. I think the pace of this tournament was too slow, and it dragged on longer than it should have. In fact, there were entire chapters in which the characters spent too much time analyzing the situation. Somehow the spectators were trying to make us believe that one of those sumos stood a chance against one of the underground arena fighters. Obviously the sumos didn't stand a chance against Baki and his friends. And I didn't think it was a good idea to put Tsukune on Baki's team. It would have been better to put him on the sumo team, so the teams would be more evenly matched. Think, Mark! Tsukune has been one of the most hated characters by the Baki community, especially for that infamous moment when he humiliated Biscuit Aliba. From the beginning, Aliba was introduced as the second most powerful man on the planet, behind only Yujiro Hama. Yes, it's true that Aliba lost against Baki, but not in such a humiliating way. Also, you have to remember that Baki is the main character of the series, so it was to be expected that this would happen. Then Tsukune, a new character in the series, arrives and humiliates him in such a way that Aliba seems to be at the level of one of those sumo wrestlers who appeared in the underground arena tournament. I think the way Nomi was introduced in the Baki series was not the right way. I think it would have been better if the Rikishi defeated Aliba in the same way that Shibukawa did. Recall that Shibukawa defeated Aliba using the Aiki technique, but this defeat did not affect Aliba in any way. If that happened with Tsukune, Mr. Unchained would not have looked so bad. And thanks to his defeat against Tsukune, Oliba has dropped so far down the power scale that currently Baki could defeat him with a single blow. I don't think Tsukune is a bad character. In fact, later I will talk about why I think he is a good character. In this arc we had a couple of good things. One of them was undoubtedly the return of Katsumi to the underground arena. And it was not just any return. Katsumi returned to fight but now with knowledge of Chinese martial arts, this after being implanted with Ritsu's arm. Let's remember that Katsumi lost his right arm after his fight against Pickle. I really like that Itagaki didn't leave this great character in oblivion. I hope that later in the manga, Katsumi will have more action and show us more of his new abilities. Undoubtedly, Jack Hama's return was a great moment for all his fans. Jack had just come from being defeated by Pickle and Moto Bay. Losing to Pickle was one thing, but losing to Moto Bay made no sense. Luckily, our favorite giant has come back even bigger than before. Jack's current height is 2 meters and 43 centimeters. He also has his new bite base technique. Without a doubt, Jack is back in an epic way. Everything indicates that from now on, Itagaki will give more prominence to this character. This fight between two real monsters is one of my top 10 favorite fights of the entire Baki series. This fight showed us a new Jack Hamma, one who now analyzes the battle and strategizes. Jack went against the Rikishi's weak points from the beginning because he knew the great danger Nomi posed. On the other hand, Tsukune never gave in to the situation and fought with pride until the end. It is true that there were some things that were very convenient for Tsukune, the power of imagination for example. However, it was a very entertaining fight, and until the end it wasn't known who could win. After this fight, Tsukune earned my respect. He is an honorable fighter with a great spirit. 
At first I hated Tsukune, but now I consider him one of the best characters in Baki. If he had been introduced in a better way, I think many would have liked this character. So, if I had to sum up the sumo arc in a nutshell, it would go something like this. I thought it was kind of interesting to give importance to a discipline like sumo. Let's remember that sumo is a national sport in Japan. So, when the Musashi arc ended, on the last page we saw some panels of Tsukune. I was very intrigued to see what was next in the Baki series. I was really looking forward to this new arc of the series, but unfortunately it was very disappointing in several ways. It definitely didn't exceed expectations. I think if we took Jack out of the equation, this was definitely going to be the worst arc of the entire Baki series. Tsukune as a character seems very good to me. I hope he comes back in the future, because I see a lot of potential in him. So, now, let me ask you, what did you think of the sumo arc? Don't forget to share your opinion. And if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment box, and I'll be answering you in another video. And well, friends, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked it. I hope you have a nice day or night. See you soon.